So the articles covered here are Article 323A and Article 223B. So this is also very important from the point of view of Good morning students. Welcome back to uh, Plutus IS. So in our 95 days prelims challenge, uh, today we are going to see the third topic. So the third topic is parts of the constitution. Earlier in first and second topics, first we have seen pre-constitutional developments. Developments. And second, we have seen preamble of the constitution. Constitution. So today we are going to see the parts of the constitution. So basically, uh, the parts of the constitution do not have much significance when it comes to uh, interpretation of the constitution or understanding of the uh, constitution. The only important thing associated with constitution, I mean, parts of the constitution is we have did it for our convenience so that uh, we can better understand the constitution so actually one aspect like governance uh, union government the president so to understand each of this aspect the constitution has been basically divided into several parts so uh, today i am going to cover this uh, uh, these parts of the constitution and what are the broad things that are there in each of these parts so when it comes to original constitution, the constitution that was adopted on, uh, in 1949, the original, in original constitution, there were 22 parts. So afterwards, there are uh, some additions and some deletions. So at present, uh, today, there are 25 parts in the uh, constitution. So today, I'm going to briefly int introduce each of those parts. And uh, later, I'm going to discuss uh, I will take some important parts and uh, we will see broadly what are the provisions or items that are there in each of that part. Right. So, the first part is union and its territory. So, articles 1 to 4 are covered here. And the second part is citizenship. So, articles covered here are 5 to 11. So, basically, this citizenship is uh, in news recently because of the citizenship amendment bill. So there are some controversies also uh, taking it, uh, I mean, when it comes to this bill. So be prepared. There may be a question asked in the prelims examination from this part. And the third one is the most important part that is fundamental rights. The articles covered here are article 12 to 32, right? The fourth, pa fourth part is DPSP, direct to principles of state policy, uh, the articles covered here are Article 36 to Article 51. And uh, then Part 4A, uh, under which the fundamental duties are covered, and the article is Article 51A. So, as you all know, fundamental duties are added to 42nd Constitutional Amendment of 1976. Next, the important, another important part is the union. The articles covered here are article from article 52 to article 151. Basically, basically here we three uh, see three aspects. President, union government, and uh, union government means uh, the prime minister and the council of ministers. And the third one is uh, judiciary, Supreme Court. Right. The sixth part is states. So here we see the governor, uh, state government, and the state state legislatures. So the articles covered here are 152 to 237. Right. Uh, part part seven is the states in part B of the First schedule, so actually this part has been repelled from the constitution after the state's reorganization of 1956. So I'm, I have kept it for your understanding and knowledge. After that, uh, part 8. So here the union territories are covered in the articles of 
239 to 242 right the ninth ninth part is about the panchayats so the articles covered here are 243 to 243 o so basically this part has been in, uh, has been added to the constitution through 73rd constitutional amendment act right then part 9a uh, it is about the municipalities and it has been added through 74th constitutional amendment act the articles covered here are 243p to 243z z next uh, part 9b here the cooperatives a uh, cooperative societies uh, about i mean the articles about cooperative societies are mentioned here and basically the articles covered are 243 zh2 243 zt so the cooperatives part has been added added to the constitution in 2011 through 97th constitutional amendment act so these all parts have been added to uh, incorporate, incorporate the social and uh, political changes that have occurred uh, after the independence. And the tenth, tenth part is <coughs> scheduled and tribal areas. The articles covered here are 244 and 244A. Basically, uh, try to remember that there are fifth and sixth schedules. So these also discuss about the tribal and scheduled areas. So basically here I'm saying the part that mentions the, about these things is uh, part 10. But when it comes to schedules, the schedules are 5 and 6. So 5th and 6th schedules discuss about the scheduled and tribal areas. When it comes to parts, it is part 10. Right. Part 11 is relations between union and the states so there are basically economic relations uh, uh, i mean uh, the legal relations etc so all these relations are center state uh, relations are covered uh, in this part part 11 so articles uh, discussed here are or mentioned here are article 245 to 263 the part 12 is finance property and contracts so in the context of the examination, this is not that much important. However, the articles here mentioned here are uh, Article 264 to Article 300A. Right. Friends, uh, here try to remember Article 300A uh, says about the right to property. Uh, it has been removed from the part 3 that is fundamental rights and has been uh, made as a constitutional right it has been removed as a uh, fundamental right and made as a constitutional right by placing it here in the part 12 of the constitution right next part 13 it, it uh, discusses about trade commerce within the territory of india articles basically covered here are article 301 to 307 so this part was in use when uh, the government has brought in three uh, form laws so it is about the trade in agricultural goods uh, agricultural products so i mean it was a, a technical thing but this part was in news when the three form laws have been brought uh, by the government next part 14 here services under the union and the states are uh, mentioned the articles covering this are article 3, 308 to 323 Next, very important uh, important part, part 14a. So this part mentions the tribunals. Tribunals. So the articles covered here are Article 323a and Article 223b. So this is also very important from the point of view of examination. So please try to remember the articles, and I will discuss some major broad articles uh, in this part. And part 15. This is also very important. It uh, covers all aspects about the elections that are conducted in India. Articles covered are Article 324 to Article 329A. Next, uh, Part 16, 
this discusses about the special provisions relating to certain classes like SCs, STs, etc. So articles covered here are Article 332, Article 342. Next is Part 17. This uh, talks about the official language, basically Hindi and associate language English. Articles covered here are Article 343 to Article 359. So this part became important in the context of anti-Hindu agitation during 1960s and uh, uh, the present government is also trying to uh, promote Hindi actively. So in this context, uh, this part uh, assumes very important and there will be a question from this part in the prelims examination. Next, uh, part 18, it talks about emergency powers and the articles covered are Article 352 to and Article 360 here. Three kinds of emergency, national emergency, state emergency or president's rules and uh, financial emergency. Three, uh, these three kind of uh, emergencies are discussed in this part. Next is part 19. Here some miscellaneous uh, items are discussed. So basically the articles are 361 to 367. <coughs> Next very important uh, thing, uh, part 20 here. Amendments about the amendments for the uh, constitution are discussed. So article covered here on, here is uh, 368. So as you all know, there are three types of amendments uh, can be made to the constitution. Uh, in the later part, we will see how I mean what are the what are the three kinds of amendments to the constitution. So the next part, part 21 is uh, about temporary, transitional, and special provisions. Basically, the articles covered here are Article 369 to Article 392. So basically, the article uh, that is giving that was giving special status to Jammu and Kashmir, Article 370, was basically mentioned here. Now it has been repealed. So in this context, this part becomes assumes importance. Now the next part, Part 22, and this is the last part here. Short title commencement, authoritative text in Hindi and repels. These things are uh, noted or mentioned here. Articles covered here are Article 393 to Article 395. So uh, these are the, I mean, the, this is a brief introduction to the uh, 25 parts into which the constitution has been divided. Now what we will do, we will take some important parts and we will see what are the broad articles that are mentioned in those important parts? So, right. So, the first part I'm taking is part one, that is uh, the union and its territory. So, this defines the structure and the territory of India. So, India, the article, article one specifies India as a union of states. Right. It includes provisions uh, regarding admission, establishment, and formation of new states and alteration of. Also, it discusses about alteration of areas, boundaries, names of existing states. Articles, relevant articles are Article 1 to Article 4. Next, uh, next important part is the part about fundamental rights. It guarantees, the constitution guarantees uh, fundamental rights to all citizens of India. So basically we have six fundamental rights. These fundamental rights are guaranteed to, guaranteed to all citizens of India. So the six fundamental rights are right to equality uh, that is covered under articles 14 to article 18 and right to freedom of speech and expression. Uh, this is covered under articles 19 to article 22 and the right against exploitation this is covered in Article 23 and 24. Next, uh, right to freedom of religion. This is covered under Articles 25 to Article 28. Next, the fifth right is cultural and educational rights. These are covered under Article 29 and Article 30. Uh, the last fundamental right is right to constitutional remedies. This is 
given under Article 32. Uh, uh, try to remember the judicial review power to the Supreme Court or the judiciary also comes from this article. So, right. Also, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar called this article as the heart and soul of the of the Constitution of India. So, in this way, this article is very very important. Try to remember this information. So, basically, the fundamental rights are justiciable. Uh, what it means, justi justiciable means any person get to uh, go to court and ask the judi judiciary to. Uh, uh, to enforce this uh, fundamental rights. So, basically the judiciary can enforce these articles, these rights mentioned in the, uh, this part. So, yesterday we have seen the preamble. It is not justiciable. Means no one can go to court now that please implement the provisions mentioned in the or uh, items men mentioned in the preamble. However, part 3 it is justiciable. Means Courts can they can be enforced in the courts of law, right? The next important part is part four, that is direct principles of state policy. So these are it provides the guidelines and principles for the governance of the country, right? Uh, so these are not enforceable, not justiciable. So, but fundamental in the governance of the country. So basically. Uh, no one can go to court and ask that please uh, these provisions are mentioned in DPSP, uh, implement them. So these are basically non-enforceable in courts or non-justiciable. So preamble and DPSP are non-justiciable. Fundamental rights are justiciable. Please try to uh, uh, mind this difference. So some of the uh, direct Directive principles of state policy are achieving social and economic justice. This is mentioned in Article 38 and 39. Next, promoting the welfare of the people. This is mentioned in Article 41 to 43. Next, securing a proper distribution of wealth and resources. This is mentioned in Article 39b and Article 39c. Next, establishing, establishing a uniform civil code. Uh, this is mentioned in Article 44. However, this not has been. Uh, this this is this is also not uh, uh, realized until now, right? Next, fostering international peace and security. So this is uh, mentioned in Article 51 of the Constitution. So uh, basically, the DPSP, the ambition of DPSP is, it is to uh, it. Uh, strives to promote collective welfare and the social justice of the people of India. Right. Uh, the next part is, another important part is article, uh, sorry, part 9, in which the panchayats are discussed. So basically, this is added through 73rd amendment to the constitution of India. So it establishes the framework for Panchayat Raj institutions in India at the grassroots level, at the local level. So it also specifies the structure and the functioning, functioning of the panchayats. So it also provides for devolution of powers and responsibilities to panchayats. And it also aims to provide, promote local self-government at the grassroots level. So articles covered here are Article 243 to Article 243. Oh. All right. The next important part is part uh, 9a in which the municipalities are covered. So, this part has been added through 74th Constitutional Amendment Act. So the part provides for municipal governance. So it establishes a framework for urban local bodies. It also provides for structure and functioning of municipalities. <coughs> it also provides for devolution of powers and responsibilities. So it also provides local self-government at the low, uh, uh, municipal, I mean urban level. So it provides for effective urban governance.
right uh, the next part is part 9 that is scheduled and tribal areas so it covers special provisions for certain areas and communities particularly scheduled and tribal areas so it provides for administration and development of this uh, these areas uh, ensures protection of rights and interests of scheduled tribes and uh, it also aims to provide inclusive development and preservation of tribal culture so the relevant articles discussed here are article 244 to article 244a uh, and the next part part 11 it, it is about relations between the union and the state so it defines the distribution of powers between union that is central government and the states that is state government so articles covered here are article 243 uh, 245 to 263 next important part is part 12 finance property and contracts and suits so <coughs> this discusses or covers about the financial ma matters including taxation revenue allocation borrowing powers etc between union and the states the articles covered are 264 to article 300a right next important part is about elections so this provides for conduct and regulation of elections in india so there will be an election commission of india that will be overseeing the conduct and regulation of elections in india including it also <coughs> includes the composition and functions of the election commission of india the articles covered are Article 324 to Article 329A. The next part is Part 18, which discusses the emergency provisions. So, there are basically three kinds of emergencies. Uh, so, basically, the part covers the all three emergencies. Right. Uh, the three emergencies are national emergency, state emergency, which is also called as President's Rule, and financial emergency so the articles covered here are article 352 to article 360 next part is part 20 which includes the uh, amendments of the constitution so this provides the uh, provides for the power to amend the constitution so uh, it specifies different types of amendments so basically there are three types of amendments we will discuss those three types of amendments later so the power comes the amending power comes uh, from the article 368 right uh, so basically this is the uh, some information uh, which i thought imp uh, will be important for the examination so i hope you gained some uh, information through this lecture now we will see one question that is asked uh, uh, with respect to parts of the constitution uh, other than fundamental rights which of the following parts of the constitution of india reflect or reflect the, uh, reflects the principles and the provisions of the universal declaration of human rights so this question is asked in 2020 so apart from fundamental rights what are the parts that were uh, i mean uh, comprising the spirit of declaration of human rights of 1948 so the options are preamble, directive principles of state policy and fundamental duties. So the correct answer is D, 1, 2 and 3. So apart from fundamental rights, these three parts also uh, hold the spirit of declaration of human rights uh, that is uh, declared in 1948. So uh, this is all for uh, the day friend. Thank you. Thank you for joining. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.